music so slow all right this is chapter 17 of hourglass we're no further um, of having an actual plot to the game but uh, it's been fun so far and uh, we will continue with a another episode um, okay Chapter 17 will begin with uh, who I have with me tonight, which is Hedwig, played by Matt, Licia, played by Emma, Sam, played by Ghost, and Veronwe, played by Rogue. You have been coerced or... Perhaps you wanted to come over to the re re yeah, recreation world that Hedwig had uh, created over the last few weeks. Um, you're currently on the beach and the sun is setting in the distance. And there's a bar um, at the end of a dock, oddly shaped and oddly placed. But uh, there are some people in the bar hanging out. You hear the strange polka music and other sea uh, shanties. Um, all these people are imaginary, of course, and created by artificial intelligence. They dance, they pretend to drink, etc. And you all relax here for a few moments before whatever is going to happen next. And uh, go ahead, you guys can get started. Hedwig is sitting on the edge of the dock, um, kicking her feet slightly, her toes barely touching into the false sea waters below. Um, she'd been spending quite a long time here, both uh, just enjoying this uh, alternate pocket dimension, and also attempting to fix certain errors that have popped up, seeing multiple of the same exact, uh, I'll call it an NPC, um, popping up all the time, um, going in circles. Uh, she's had to clear the cache and had to fix that one quite a few times. Uh, occasional T-posing. Um, it was just an absolute mess sometimes, but she'd finally, she thinks, got it down to a, a science. Um, she had had assistance from Samuel regarding the programming itself, but as of now, she'd gotten a pretty good grasp on doing all the coding herself. Uh, she sits on the edge of the pier, uh, relaxing, leaning back uh, with a, a white and pink polka dot swimsuit on. She looks towards the sunset. Licia is sitting in the like hut amongst all the dancers um she has a drink and uh, seems to others to be very absent-mindedly staring at the water however in her head as she stares out to this fake ocean but it seems very real to her uh, she is reminded of the events that she went through to overcome her illness of being underwater for quite some time of a large creature 
that was nigh incomprehensible. Um, probing into her mind, probing into her body of various chantings that would fill her head as she drowned over and over and over again. She is reminded of what waits asleep under the waters and what will rise again. And she is perplexed and mesmerized by the waves as they come, questioning whether they are natural waves or perhaps slight movements of Cthulhu's body time and time again. Eventually she does snap out of her focus. Uh, looking around she sees Hedwig sitting and she will walk over to join her as the others are doing their thing. Veronwe is, I would say he's farther down on the beach, kind of by himself, looking out over the water, and um, he's got his hood pulled up, and uh, just kind of sitting there, looking out over the waves, uh, occasionally watching the others. He's been kind of uh, probably sticking to himself ever since that last uh, mission with the, the Lich. And Sam is at the little establishment there, kind of looking over more future tech things. Uh, not so much really into the party scene never has been uh, he looks over some bits and baubles little things he's been working on um checking back in on progress the things he's trying to fix and put together with hedwig's help back on the station but seems very aloof and not really mindful of the place As Licia walks over to Hedwig, uh, on her left side she has a, what looks to be a, a small coconut filled with some sort of cranberry colored beverage. And she sips out of a straw and she looks up to Licia and smiles. Um, how are you enjoying it so far? I, I hope it's not too, um, obnoxious. Licia smiles down at her and shakes her head. No, no, this is fine. Um, you said the sun was setting, Tet, or like? Yeah, it's, how... it's yeah, it's setting. It's uh, probably you know, um, almost nighttime. Um... Okay. So, she'll kind of like look out over the ocean towards the sun, um, squinting uncomfortably. The sun is a bit uncomfortable, but this is nice. It is much better than just sitting in the hub all day. Hedwig smiles widely to that. And she says, well, if, if you'd like, I can turn it down sometimes. Um, at least make the sun maybe a little bit less um, bright during at least the sunset. But she stares out towards the sunset itself. Um, not really. Besides here, on other worlds, on mine, we never really had much sun, exactly. It was mostly the same, slightly dreary, overcast. Everything was a very mixed bag of colors. I never really got to see many vibrant ones until... Well, I left. Nisi is quiet for a moment. 
looking out over the waters towards the colors in the sky. My home was quite the opposite, but it is beautiful, isn't it? Hedwig looks back to Alicia, takes a moment. Yeah, it is. Alicia looks down at you uncomfortably, <laughs> but will kind of like sit down uh, and hold her hand out. May I try that? Oh, uh, yes, Hedwig. She looks fairly embarrassed and just shakes her head and picks up the drink and gives it over to Alicia. Of course, I am. Um... Experimenting with different cocktails and such. I think that's what Mark said they were. Um, this one tastes good. It's a bit sugary, but it's nice. What is it called? She asks as she she starts taking a sip. I call it Maroon Drink. I don't have a name for it. <laughs> Lisa kind of like spits a drink out from her nose, <laughs> laughing. Um... And then she, like, covers her face with her arm as she's, like, wiping everything away. Um, maroon drink, yes. Uh, it tastes very nice. And she hands the coconut back to you. And Hedwig laughs and says, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you um, laugh so hard. I, um, I, don't worry, I'll come up with an appropriately long name for it soon. She smiles. No, no, do not. Do not worry. Uh, I just was not expecting it. I don't want you next time. As you two are speaking, um, Samuel's kind of over by himself, uh, playing around with uh, one of his gadgets, and uh, walking up to him, uh, carrying a tray, um, and with a couple drinks on it, is the librarian who immediately sits them down and sits down across from him. Ah, Samuel, do you have a moment? Uh, yeah. And he kind of leans back in his chair and looks. Um, what's, what's going on? Ah, well, I have come here uh, to uh, speak to you on a personal matter that uh, I believe you were contacted by a... Uh, I'm sorry, this music is quite d distracting uh do you want to step out on the dock side it's not as loud out there oh no i'll just turn it off and she flips her she like snaps her fingers and then the music that was playing um stops for everyone in the in the uh, bar and kind of changes to a soft melody Maybe it's annoying to others, but uh, the librarian doesn't seem to mind. Ah, there, that's much better. Uh, so, uh, yes, um, Steve Jobs. Do you remember being contacted by him? Yes. Um, it was the, the brain thing. Yeah, it's a message that he, that he left, I remember. Uh, yes, we've done some uh, research on Steve Jobs, and he was quite the inventor in the uh, 21st and 20th century. Uh, he would make an asset, a fine asset, to the hub and hourglass if we could uh, procure him. I have uh, loaded the coordinates into your watch. If you would care to go and, well, do a little recruiting for us. Sure. Um, I will. I'll, I'll get the others, and then uh, yeah, we'll we'll go take care of it. I'll probably stop at the hub for a bit, gear up, and all that. Um. Anything you can tell me about the coordinates, or...? Uh, it, uh, appears to be some sort of underground facility in the 21st century. Um, this is strange. I read no life forms there whatsoever, as far as I can tell. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Um, okay, I mean, we'll... There's we'll, high there's we'll high that. levels of power usage, uh, probably lots of tech there. You should be quite happy, I believe. Oh yeah, especially antique tech. Yeah, the 
And he kind of rubs his chin. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get the others, and we'll, we'll gear up and head out. Oh, ah, wonderful. Uh, I see that uh, you have brought uh, Mr. Vronway with you. Could you please uh, tell him to see me in the hub uh, before you leave? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll go take care of that now. Actually, good so. Oh. As you stand up, she just kind of Im- immediately just disappears. And uh, as she does, the music switches back over to this loud, uh, loud um, kind of uh, music. You recognize that uh, someone has repurposed the music you were hearing at that 80s uh, party um, and has been playing it here. Oh, boy. Can't imagine it would do that. Um, Sam will... Um... I'm assuming he might have seen Veronway head out on the beach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so he'll get up and still messing with his bits and baubles, he heads out to Veronway. What is that? Yeah, it looks like uh-huh. some sort of s- sculpture. You're it's hard to tell. Alright. Uh <laughs> Yeah, Sam will see that and marvel at it a bit as he's walking along the beach looking for Veronway. Yeah, you can see him. He's he's sitting at the edge of the water. Uh, looks like he's he's probably looking at that as well, and uh, maybe like dipping his hands in the water. The waves come up there, and then he he stands up as you approach. Uh, but still not really looking towards you, um, like dipping his hands in the water and looking at the effects. Yeah, Veronway, uh, he kind of looks at the statuesque thing again. It's um, neat, I guess, isn't it? Another meaningless world in an endless universe. Nothing against the work of Hedwig, of course. It's amazingly accurate. But what does it all matter? Uh, no idea, but, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, kind of scratches the back of his neck. Uh, we have a new assignment, um, going to find and recruit some guy from way back when, and, um, my history but uh the librarian wanted to to talk with you beforehand if you got time you can see he's he's still kind of lost looking out in the uh, uh into the ocean he's like how would it be possible to even find someone you care about in this endless multiverse there's so many worlds. Um, technology seems pretty good at that. Uh, he shakes his head and he starts to follow Samuel. Some human we're going after. Um, his brain, more accurately, if I remember right. But uh, yeah, more or less. Oh, did you say the librarian wanted to speak with me? Yeah, she uh, wanted me to go find you. She needed to talk with you about something. She was vague, as she usually is when it comes to things she doesn't want to talk to one person about, but talk to the other person about. You you know how it is. <sighs> Interesting. Could you pick up that shell for me and... And he's he's gonna try to cast that uh, that mind control spell and see if it works. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, d- uh, let me see. Hold on. <laughs> okay. This is where Veronway accidentally kills everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like session. something out in the water, you know, something like, ah, really, like a couple of feet out in the water, you know. Not something just on the beach. 
Alright, hold on, let me see. Let me pull up that spell. <laughs> uh, mind control. Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, this is going to be just a, a level one. Um, I think that's. Uh, and it'd be against your fortitude. Ghost. Right. And that's a psyche he spell. He rolls first, I roll six. Yeah, it doesn't matter, you can roll at the same time. Fuck it. Oh, you don't uh Ronway, you don't have skill in psyche, you can't have this spell. Or you can, but oh. you just can't do much with it. It's a mentalism spell. That's right. I'm gonna have to pick a different spell. Are you still gonna test it on me? <laughs> <laughs> ask you that's 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 an interesting idea. <laughs> he'll ask you. To, he'll ask you to pick up uh, yeah <laughs> the shell anyway, and hand it to him. You can get some mental. You can get some psyche later if you want. But yeah, look at the shell and just kind of shrug and pick it up and okay. There you go. I'm gonna keep it on there. We'll say he's. We'll say he's learning it, so he thinks he's. He thinks it's working anyway. You can roll it. I mean, you can roll it. It's just it's not untrained. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't. He picks it up, but I mean, it's working. Samuel just doesn't, you know, feel anything. Yeah, you wouldn't even need to roll. But yeah, it's whatever. Oh god, that's bad. Yeah, oh, you're do you have like one in senses? Oh yeah, you don't want that spell. No. All right, so um, what are you guys going to do on the beach? Are you guys done? Yeah, Hedwig and Alicia, you see Sam and Veronway out on the beach talking. Hedwig, um, she gets up from her seat next to Alicia and stretches slightly. I, I should really uh, head back. Um, you enjoy the beach. Uh I don't think I'm going to go swimming today. <laughs> <laughs> she smiles. That's quite alright. Um, I may stay here a little longer. Um, of course. Um, feel free. I'll see you later. Um, Hedwig turns around and she does. She lets out kind of a long held breath that she had feeling a bit embarrassed from before as she heads back and it's gonna go back towards the hub yeah you could just instantly go yeah she she just heads out pops out anything else you guys want to do here no I think that it's what yeah. at least you know what's up and then balance I guess yeah, if you tell Alicia, then she'll go back to the hub and get her stuff ready. Yeah, Veronway continues to be weird and talk to Samuel about fucking the endless amount of atoms in the shell and how it's just impossible to to find the correct one that you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, he nods. <laughs> sure, buddy. He he he, just, he, he listens. Okay. Denting. Okay. Where's my music? Okay. Um, you head back to the hub and um, the library, and um, uh, she gives a general announcement over the intercoms 
that uh, you should be ready to cast in uh, 10 minutes. And there's another uh, repeat on the... Uh, Veronway, please see me in the library, if you would please. The library. Before departure. And, yeah, Veronway. He sighs and... Uh... He takes off towards the library, though. Um, as you walk in, uh, you see the librarian sitting there with a book, reading it. Um, looks like an old tome of some sort. Ah, there you are, Fronway. I wondered if Sam did not uh, give you the uh, give you my message. Ah, uh, he did. What is it? Well, I just wanted to talk about your next mission and uh, some things I did find for you. Uh, but uh, I am still working on uh, your little problem of who you were trying to come here with. Uh, Jewel, I believe her name was, right? Yeah, he he stops leaning up against the wall and obvious interest in his in his face. You found something. We're what getting closer, I think, of pinpointing her location. It's only a matter of time now. How... How are you doing this? Well, the hub has many resources when it comes to <laughs> multi-dimensional tracking. And he walks over and looks at the devices that she's playing with or... You know, whatever she might be looking at. Yeah, she's at. just looking at a book. Oh, I, no, they're not here, Vronway. Um, well, let's let's talk about something else. I'll let you know about her, but I, I have to I have to interject about your um. I, I've noticed your behavior on the hub, and I wanted to uh, address it with you now. My behavior. A, a little forward with um. The women here, um. Except me. I have to say I'm a little... Uh, I guess... Um, I, sad, isn't the... Yes, I think that's what you call it. Jealous. <laughs> he lets out a long laugh and he says, uh, You told me you were not real. Oh, that you didn't I, matter. I, I don't. I guess, but uh, I I installed a uh, emotional emotional program uh, a few weeks ago, and this has been kind of bubbling up inside me. And I have to say that um, I do find you uh, quite uh, mysterious. Oh, really? You don't need to get out your amulet. He was already reaching for it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you... uh, something more subtle. A dinner? Wine? One night this week, uh, maybe. Well, he's baffled for a minute, and he says, uh, If I don't go to dinner with you, then you won't show me the information where the jewel is. Oh, My jewel. oh, that's not true at all. You can go ahead and do a uh, read person. Detect lies has been changed to read person. That's the um, new skill name. It's under empathy. <laughs> Broadway's good at this. That's not true at all. That's not bad, though. Yeah, that's not bad at all. You, um, you think maybe that um, your first thought is true, that she might not give you the information um, if you don't go. Oh. So he, like, looks at her quizzically for a moment, kind of studying her facial expressions, and he says, I would love to go on a date with you. Wonderful. I, she kind of takes her collar and pulls it away from her neck. That just makes me uh, very happy. 
happier than I've been in these two weeks that I've been able to be happy. And he smiles and, and nods and he says, are, are these new glasses? Oh, <laughs> they are not. They look lovely on you. Oh, why, thank you. Thank you. I, I enjoy your hood. Your black hood, it is all very mysterious, like I said. I have not shown you my amulet, though. Oh, I've, I've seen it from afar. Um, but I'll, I'll take a look if you want me to. Yes, yeah, so from afar, that does not do it justice. You must look into it. It's, it's beautiful. Huh. All right. Let me see it. <laughs> she kind of saddles up to you a little closer. Putting the book down on the um, on on the table. Uh, give me give me a perception roll real quick. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, my perception is horrible. Yeah, you you don't see... Uh, there's some sort of picture on the inside of the page, uh, but you just read uh, on the outside of the page, it says um, something about Kama Sutra. You're not sure what that means, but... So, um, yeah, he looks at the book and he kind of puts two and two together, though, uh, you know, with with her trying to telling him about the, you know, the emotion of uh, programs and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, uh, if he feels like she's not going to give him the information unless he takes her to dinner, you know, he'll keep on with it for a minute and give her a few compliments and stuff while he's showing her the amulet. Oh, that is just... It's almost like there's a galaxy in the amulet. Yes, it is. It's magic. Oh, yes, I'm very impressed with magic. I don't really understand it. Oh, anyway, I'm, I'm sorry to... I, I think you need to be on your way to the portal. Can I, can I walk you there? To the portal? Oh, I mean, gosh. I was going there anyway, but uh, I usually would just disappear and show up there. But I, I could walk with you this time. I would love for you to walk me there. Oh, huh, wonderful. <laughs> and she uh, does so. Uh, you walk to the portal and everybody else is waiting after uh, getting ready to go. Uh, the rest of you kind of see them uh, saddle in and um, she is walking very close to Veronway. She actually tries to slip her arm in your arm, like walking arm in arm as you're going. So that might be kind of strange to everybody else. Yeah, he's definitely doing that, flirting with her and stuff, and laughing. His whole demeanor has changed from being depressed for the past couple of weeks, I, I guess. Yeah. She, Veronway, she leans in, she says, Don't worry about Jewel, I'll find her, but I think you should maybe keep your, keep your options open. I mean... I, from what I understand, she's young. She doesn't have nearly the experience as I do. I, I mean, I've been alive for... Well, not alive, but I've been here for many, many, many hundreds, if not thousands of years. Um, anyway, uh, good luck on your journey. Um, I, maybe a good by kiss? He says, of course. And he, he kisses her hand. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. And she blushes and kind of steps back and takes her uh, tablet uh, <clears throat> uh, eyes forward to the portal everyone it's time to go Hedwig had been watching the interaction not much watching Veronway but mostly watching the librarian's actions how she acted around Veronway kind of studying them um, with more curiosity uh, than anything. 
And as she says to turn around, uh, Hedwig kind of springs up a little and turns back to face the portal. It's good that you're uh, finally here for one way. I was expecting um, me to be last. Oh, um, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. It's fine. It's, it's fine. I don't worry about where he was, Hedwig. I was uh, oh. giving him a last-minute uh, debriefing of the situation. Oh. And she looks to Veronica. So, what else do you know? And she's very good at debriefing. <laughs> I am. Okay, I am the best at debriefing. Okay. Hedwig just looks very confused. What the fuck? Instead of saying, <laughs> kind of turns and looks to the portal. Licia will kind of like lean over towards Hedwig. I thought you said nothing happened while I was away. Um, it, it, nothing did. We we're, were in that same room for about 10, 15 hours. I don't even know. It, it was like maybe an hour that we were there. I, I, I don't. Uh, I'm she looks just as baffled uh, as probably Licia feels. Oh, um, Licia will look towards Veronwe and the librarian. So, shall we go? Yes. Veronwe is going to look at the librarian and be like, uh, before he before he moves on and and say, uh, um, and please be sure to get that information on Jewel for me. I would be overly gracious. Oh, of, of course. I will work on it um, as much as I can. Um, absolutely. I will find out where she is. And she smiles. And, uh, and Veronwe bows and and starts to make his way towards the portal. Yeah. Licia will turn around and as she feels it's been kind of becoming tradition, she offers her arm to Hedwig to walk through the portal together. And Hedwig looks to Licia and she smiles slightly and she'll take Licia's arm. Hey, let's go. Licia nods and then they walk through the portal. The rest of you are going in, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, you step through the portal and instantly you hear uh, the humming of machines, fans spinning, um, lights blinking in front of you. Samuel, this is what you would consider some sort of computer room. Um, very dated. Um, huge pieces of machinery compared to what you're used to as far as computing. Computers are quite tiny in your uh, in your um time. Uh, these are massive, massive computers is what you assume they are. And uh, you don't see anybody here. Uh, there are blinking lights uh, pretty much everywhere. And then down this row um, between the two, you see a door in the back, um, which you think is a door at least. And since they all show up in the room, Sam looks around 
Uh, and here's a place I can get used to. And he starts looking through some of the tech and falling wires, things like that, trying to just better understand the room layout, see if he can access any of these even. Yeah, each each tower has a computer terminal, uh, a physical one with a keyboard, which is not something you would be used to, but... Yeah, I'll try to get the, the gist of it. Look into what the terminals have. Nisia will walk over towards one of the computer towers, kind of like tapping it with a finger. And what are these? Uh, those are terminals. This is like a server room. So uh, think of it as like, it's like thinking, it's like a library, basically, like a virtual library. Hedrick kind of bounds over and starts looking around at all the servers very excitedly. How, how do we access this? I, you, you, I've shown you how to use a computer. You know how to access it. Well, th this might be a bit different. These are a lot older than the ones on the hub, but... Oh, oh so it's, um, older. Yes, and I'm trying to figure out how old right now, actually. Well, I'm trying to find a date on the console. Yeah, as you as you were playing with the console, uh, it's password locked, um, and as you access it, um, a hologram is projected, and you can see the actual um, uh, projectors on the ceiling, and this is projected in front of you, and it says, "How may I assist you? Welcome to." Our humble abode. I am your virtual intelligence here at Apple headquarters, deep, deep, deep below. Oh, um, and he kind of steps forward. Um, can you tell us the current date and time? Oh, yes. 2021 January 15th Okay, that's that's pretty old. Um Can you tell me what is stored here? Uh, unable to relay that information. You do not have the right security clearance. She looks over to Samuel and kind of meanders away over and whispers, Do you think we could, like, maybe hack into the service to give ourselves clearance? Um, maybe, but everything has defense systems. I don't really... I don't really know what this is going to be like. I don't know. They were... They were... We were kind of, still are, a little bit barbaric back then. What do you mean? Uh, well, we we had gunpowder weapons back in this time. A really clumsy way to kill people. And I, I don't know, it, this doesn't, he kind of gestures around. I don't even know if we're supposed to be in here, let alone he gestures over the door. I don't, I don't know what's... I don't know what dangers could be, you know, it's just, this is really old for me, I don't... Well, I don't think we're gonna get any farther if we don't experiment. I can try to mess with the computers a bit, see if I can get uh, access. Maybe you uh, you guys ask it questions? I can help too, it's, um... I mean, if these two maybe want to ask questions, we could work on it together. Uh... Sure, yeah. Um yeah, let's 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 try to to sort that out. He, you notice Ronway has been standing there like perplexed for a moment and uh he's he's he says, "How long has the librarian been using me? Does she has she known about the jewel this whole time?" What? Do you think? Do you think? 
He looks over to the others, realizing they probably don't know what the hell he's talking about. Uh, I didn't even know that she could act that way, V. I, I, <laughs> I didn't know you could hook up with an AI, but good for you, bud. I, I didn't know what to say about the jewel, but uh, Wait, I don't... What are you doing with her? She wants me to go on a date with her, and says she's been experimenting with new programming, emotional programming, I suppose. Uh, congratulations. But I feel like if I do not go on this date, then she's not going to let me know where my jewel is. The love of my life that I've been searching for for all these years. Uh, well, whatever you do, please don't don't leave our our AI with a hang up. I, we we don't need that on the station at all, really. He, uh, he can't just be forced into a situation. That's not right. Well, uh, might just want to do it for everybody's sake because. Uh, oh, uh, there you are. I'm disgusting. just saying. Wait, do you want do you want the librarian pissed off because she didn't? You know, get to have dinner with Veronwe? I don't. I don't, I don't want that issue. Do anything against his will? That's not right. Uh, Veronwe, have you not wanted female companionship in the hub? It seems that this is a nice opportunity for you, even if it may be temporary. Well, of course. I don't mind it, I suppose. Or is she even capable of physical pleasure? You kissed her hand, did you not? Did you feel anything? No, but I didn't feel anything when I kissed. He like looks over at Lacey and Hedwig and kind of stops himself. <sighs> I've, perhaps we should talk of this later. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we should focus on this. Um, like Samuel said, why don't the two of you ask this thing, uh, points to the projection, uh, questions. We'll work on this. Very well. Um, pardon me, we are looking for... A, and she kind of looks towards Samuel. Steve Jobs? Yeah, he nods. Ah, Mr. Jobs is here. Where? Oh, he is in a secure compound that you cannot reach. That we cannot reach yet, Samuel says under his breath. Yeah, you you start looking at the computer terminal and you can start dicking around with it if you want. Yeah. Should I make an assisting roll for hacking? Yeah. Assistops. Assist. Uh, this would be hacking. Or hacking. This is a hacking. So you okay. so he would roll, but uh, you would get your um, skill ranks as a pre-roll modifier. You get a plus two then. Hedwig's invested. Ouch. Um, yeah. So, uh, excuse me. And the computer uh, terminal just goes blank. Unauthorized access is not appreciated by our security protocols. Pardon me, what building are we in? You are in the secret, very secret, Apple's headquarters, built 25 years ago by Steve Jobs himself to store his brain when the time came. And there is no entrance or exit, which leads me to believe 
that his hypothesis of time travel is correct, and that you have traveled here from the future. If there is no entrance or exit, what is that door? Ah, this is another part of the compound. When I say entrance or exit, I mean the compound. It was, it was basically a tomb. It was built without the intention of anyone ever setting foot in it, unless we, you know, could could get in. But if you know why we're here, and he looks to the, the hologram, then why don't you just let us collect the brain and be on our way? Because I do not know that you are worthy of our master's brain. It is... Highly advanced. It is a perfect brain, in fact. Uh, then what test do you need us to pass to acquire this brain? Hedwig had been fairly annoyed from the conversation earlier, and her annoyance continues over. Well, the Apple interview process is extensive. We will let you to the next room. And you can speak to our interviewer. And the door just crank and cut pulls open. You may proceed for now. Very well. Alicia will go ahead, kind of just sneaking and making sure there's like no danger kind of about to come. Yeah, you look in you look in the door and it's kind of this strange uh kind of translucent. It it doesn't look like a real room to you. It looks kind of odd. It's just just kind of lights swirling about. She looks around at it, definitely confused and looks back at everyone else. Um this is Strange. A lot of it's gonna be. A lot of the old tech was pretty unrefined and a bit of a trip. Well, no use in pausing and hanging back now. Let's keep going. She walks into the room. Veronway follows uh, and asks Samuel is this from the time you were from? Oh no. He kind of looks into it. No, we this was oh, I don't know several centuries ago at this point. When you walk in you're having that conversation and kind of blindsided it it doesn't look exactly the way it did when you walked in uh instead there are these huge walls uh, very very jagged um or not jagged very uh, angular um walls it almost looks like a a beginning of a maze um samuel you can give me a either a sysops roll or a uh, investigation roll sysops it is Uh oh. She. Was that sheet or not? Nah. That was sheet. No, that was not yeah. sheet. That was. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you get the feeling that this is some sort of simul space uh, VR environment, which you would think. Uh, you kind of think it's a bit of ahead of its time for um, where you are. That's weird. He's kind of looking around at the the walls. They shouldn't have had this back then. Not like this, anyway. Oh, shouldn't have what? Well, this is... This is kind of like that environment you have had uh, with everything you built, you know? Oh, it's yes. virtual. 
Um, they didn't. They didn't have it to this degree back. It's, it's like 300 years prior to my time, and it's nothing that's clean. It kind of looks around. Well, it's quite fascinating that they have this at Alden. Well, if Steve Jobs really is the perfect mind, maybe he came up with it, or his brain did, I guess, since it's, you know, stored here. Probably... As you're speaking, someone... Of course it's perfect. Uh, 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 who, who are you? I'm Steve Jobs. Well... I'm the ego of Steve Jobs. And it looks just like this. An apple floating out of the top of his head. I am the creator of Apple Incorporated. The greatest company ever known to the world. Now or in the future. Welcome to this place of my design as you might expect. I'm guessing you got one of my messages into the future. Uh, we did. It said to come collect your brain. Excellent. What body will I be stored in? A great mechanized suit ready for battle and, and engineering marvels? Enhanced boosters? Tell me everything I need to know. Oh, we were supposed to do that before we came and got you? He looks to her, he's, Ugh, this is why I do not hire women for Ex leadership roles. The headwig steps up, Excuse me, Mr. Jobs. My name's Hedwig, right, by the way, but that's extremely rude. I have you know that I am quite an intelligent person. Maybe not really more of a leadership style, but I'm extremely intelligent. If you're so intelligent, why are you wearing suspenders? It's a fashion choice and an aesthetic. Thank it is you. a poor fashion choice. You need to be wearing a black turtleneck sweater. <laughs> she she's not from our place, Steve. It's a little bit complicated. Why don't you explain it to me if it's so complicated? Trust me, I can understand. <laughs> How do you feel about uh, multiverse theory? I think it's fantastic. Well, that woman right there, and this one, and this gentleman, all from very different multiverses than yours and mine. We might even be from different Earth multiverses, so in her world... Suspenders are in. Well, she's on Earth now, and they are definitely not in. The only people that wear them are fat men. Do I look like a fat man to you, Mr. Jobs? No, you do not. Mm -hmm. uh, this aside, um, we can build you a body, I'm sure, whatever specifications you want, but we have to you know, get to the, the brain before that, so is this supposed to be, this? the machine said that this was a test or something, so what... Let me see your with? iPhones. What? Uh, What's an iPhone? I don't even know if we have Apple Tech. We do have Apple Tech 300 years in the future. I don't know if we have. I don't know if I oh, have. you don't have any. Regardless, you're, you're not actually sure. You could do a lore check to see what happened to Apple in the future. Sure, let's, let's see. <laughs> I got it by worm. I don't know if this is trained. No, it ain't. No. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, that Steve Jobs. That's pretty good. Oh, it, oh yeah, yeah, that's good. good. Yeah, oh, okay, I'll whisper to you because it's just funny. <laughs> I've been dying. Oh, my God. iPhone doesn't even sound like proper grammar. Uh, What's an iPhone? Why isn't that my iPhone? Why is it called Show me Apple? your iPhone. Do you sell fruits and vegetables? <laughs> I don't understand. 
Oh shit. Yeah, so Sam thinks about it and he remembers he had a microscope. Um, and he kind of scratches his, his um, chin trying to think of the best way to say it. Um, nobody's gonna have uh, iPhones, Mr. Jobs. Like, I got some bad news for you. Well, I've heard bad news one time when they said I had cancer. The body is well, weak, but my mind survived. My mind will well, survive uh, this. Um, so, maybe this timeline is different, but... 2042, uh, you guys got taken over by a company called Microsoft. His face is blank. <laughs> Your line. That's impossible. Uh, terrible. That's impossible. Microsoft is garbage. I mean, do I have a reason to lie to you? Uh, you can. Are you trying to make me mad? I'm just trying to do what your message asked me to do. Uh, you wanted iPhones. We don't. We don't have them. None of us do. It's not because I wouldn't necessarily want a phone, but you don't really exist in my timeline anymore. I find that hard to believe. I will give you iPhones. My treat. iPhone 10s. I don't think I need the 10 iPhones. <laughs> no, that is the version of the iPhone. Where do you get uh, these people? I thought you would be a highly advanced civilization of techno wizards. This is true. <laughs> is your iPhone capable of love? <laughs> Clark. Clark has to cover his face. He looks at. Well, there's no virus that can get to our iPhones. So you can go to Pornhub anytime you want. <laughs> What's Pornhub? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, iPhones now, and he's, you know, assuming that there's some iPhones that materialize. Like <laughs> there's, that. there's a table you see. You just kind of notice it, and there's some iPhone tens sitting there. And he takes one. All right, so iPhones, uh, got them in hand. Um, Wonderful, I'm glad we... you do. They are very simple to use, much more simple than the Android. You see, we have to make them simple for the old people. So they can call their grandchildren and play solitaire. You know. Uh-huh. At the phone. I, I'm with you. So you said that you needed to see our iPhones? Well, I don't need to see these iPhones. They were my iPhones. I wanted to see what you had installed. But that you don't have iPhones? That I cannot abide. And I do not believe the story, this wild fairy tale of Microsoft owning Apple. Well, um, how about you let us collect your brain and then we'll bring you back to our hub and we'll give you the basic rundown of your timeline and what happened. Oh, I am aware of what Apple will do. It will do many great things. Did you know I can pay a person in China to create our iPhones for $2 an hour? The savings is immaculate. Uh, sure. Um, she looks to Samuel. Why did we come here again? This is uh, one side of Mr. Jobs. Apparently there's more to him than this. Uh... I am a genius. 
I will let you have my brain if you can pass the test. This interview was an abject failure, of course. But we will put you to the test. What say you? Sure. Well then, through the maze you go. I'll be watching. Your every step. You look at the tables again, you see some garments. If you want some sweaters on the way out, feel free. My gift to you. Hedwig will look at the sweaters and just pass by them. Veronwe will check it and see if it's got any armor value. Uh, you, you're not sure. I mean, <laughs> you don't think so. They're like cotton sweaters. Sam will, will take some. It gets cold on the station sometimes. That's what I thought. Just take, take a Lucy, few sweaters. Lucia just looks a bit confused and will say, are we sure we need this man? Humanity needs me. All the universes need me. I am the greatest inventor and businessman of all time. Mm. A, a greatest inventor. Um, <laughs> Hedwig will begin to laugh. Okay, sure. I'm sure that whoever made suspenders on your world is the greatest inventor to you. Oh. Someone who doesn't even have an iPhone. Hedwig herself is quite an accomplished inventor. Oh, really? What did you invent? Goggles? Uh, <laughs> no, she slings over the uh, the crank master. Oh, uh, that's a nice toy gun hand. you have there. Oh, trust me, it's not a toy gun when it hits you. Well, it won't hit me. I'm not really here. Well, I'll make you be here, because I'm going to be the one inventing your body, so you better be polite, or else I'm going to install some extra... I will pay you a decent wage for a woman, 80% of what a man makes, and you will like it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to Cosma, I'm going... <clears throat> it, 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 it's, it's fine. Goodness. Listen, it's... It's fun. This is the tech world. It's just, just one, not home one economics. Part. It's it's just one part of a better person. So we we have faults. He did do some great things. Some not so great things too, from what I remember. But listen, it's it's fine. Have you read my biography? I'm moving on, and Hedwig just starts moving through the maze. Uh, you move past him, and it, he looks after Hedwig, and then looks to the rest of you, and. There's my biography on the table if you want to take it with you. It's quite a good read. We have it on the hub. I'm I sure. did not Thanks. even require a ghostwriter. No, I I still have uh, some more Lord of the Rings to read. I'm not sure that you've heard of that. Oh, drivel. Absolute no, drivel. You should read Dune. I side with the Harkonnens. I have not heard of that. I... Okay, and Lysia will go to catch up to Hedwig. It looks to Samuel. I see that you have common sense. I can tell that you are the leader here. You need to bring your team to heal. We have business to take care of in the future. Is he following us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like walking behind you. So he's kind of like talking in your ear. I'm actually not in charge. It's more Hedwig is more vocal. I just kind of fix. Of course, things. she's vocal. She's a woman. They always talk, 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 and don't get any productivity whatsoever. Well, uh, I, you haven't even seen her work, so I mean, she she does a lot, you know. What happens when she has her period? She takes too many breaks, I guarantee it. No, I I can't even tell, really. Can't even tell what? 
I I don't I don't really notice a difference. I don't know. I had a wife once. It was miserable. That's what I hear, but I I don't I don't know. Not I will be your leader soon. Worry not. I will lead you to the destiny. For all humanity will be raised up with our inventions. Don't worry. What's your name again? Uh, Samuel. Samuel. That's a good middle management name. Hmm. I was good middle management for a while. Did they make a mistake, you think? The hub? No, it's, um, this, this probably tracks with 21st century type people. Well, I will let you get to your next adventures. Good luck on your test. I hope you will see my brain soon. <laughs> Me too. He has all the sweaters that are on the table. <laughs> Steve Jobs is the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm so <bad>. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. Is this so? This is just a maze. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying the entire time. <laughs> I could just imagine his head following us around, <laughs> floating behind us. With the apple oh. out of it, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so he just wants us to walk through this maze <laughs> that he made. Yeah, you, wa you walk, and you're walking and walking, and you see... Um, Gets a little strange all of a sudden. Um, here. Oh, what the? Uh, eventually, in front of you, you see these two um, things. Uh, they're tall. Actually, g give me a sysops roll. People with sysops. Yeah, people with sysops. Oh shoot! No. I think it's broke. broke yeah, sheet. I think it's broke too. Use your sheet. I'm using my sheet. Gosh. Get your sheet together. <laughs> yeah, you're you're pretty okay. sure sure that uh, these are all programs, and the ones in front are um, ice. And uh, if you're wanna gonna wanna break through, you're gonna have to use uh, your hacking and uh, sysops. So basically, what it's gonna be is uh, Heimdall. At least um, you, you see like uh, projections of uh, computer programs floating about as well. Uh, you think that those um, uh, can be interacted with with physical measures, uh, but the Heimdalls, you're pretty sure you're gonna have to hack them. So what it's going to look like when you attack those guys, it's going to be um, hacking versus sysops, and they're going to attack you with hacking versus sysops as well. Um, and uh, your post roll modifier is your hacking uh, rank. So, Fine. and uh, we can roll initiative. Yeah, I think Hedwig will call out. We can physically attack these ones. And she points to the two series. Okay, let me change this music. Has everybody rolled initiative? I think so. I believe so. <laughs> I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Jobs has to come back sometime. Well, you're trying to uh, recruit him for the hub, so yeah, he'll be there a lot. <laughs> yeah. If 
if the girls don't kill him. <laughs> uh, well, he needs a new body, and Hedwig's the inventor, so... <laughs> hmm. Alright, uh, let me do this. Let me get this all settled. Oh, crap. I was, like, thinking of, like, I was like, what can I do in the middle of this? And I was like, I would just make him an absolute asshole. <laughs> so good. That's amazing. <laughs> you get paid a fair wage for a woman at 80%. <laughs> oh, yeah. Turn, make him, make him a woman's body. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That'd be awesome. <laughs> she can do that. That'd be awesome. Perfect for Veronway. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd have to hit on him. Look at my jewel. <laughs> Get the snow globe out of my face. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what All we're right. going to do. Um, Lisi's going to shoot at this with her pistol. Alright. Uh, what's your range on that pistol? Eight, I'm guessing. Um, eight or ten, something like that. Ten, yeah. yeah. Mid medium range. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a hit. Um, that's 29, 17, 26. It kills one of them. Yeah, you hit the thing and it just kind of disintegrates as it's floating around. Um, kills that one. Let me find my pen. Do I have it down here? There we go. Uh, what were you saying, uh, Matt? Oh, uh, make sure to put like... Point zero whatever, like point zero nine, oh, yeah, point yeah, zero yeah. eight, uh -huh. or else it'll like rocket them to the top. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Let me see. Not what I meant to do. Oh my god, it's so fast! Holy shit! <sighs> Better natural speed. Okay. Uh, these um, series over here are going to fire. Uh, they're doing brain hack versus. Um, hmm. Let's see. Hedwig. Oh shoot! What do I have to roll? Sysops. Okay. There's two of them, so they get two benefits. Trained. Oh my goodness, and I have uh -oh. no additions. Or do I have addition for hacking? Uh, no. Nope. Like, plus mm -mm. two. No, this is this is just a defense roll. Ah! Oh! So they hit you for eight. What's your mental defense? Or not your mental oh. defense, but your mental, um, your terror level is what it would go under. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, it Nine. gives you an injury. Oh. Uh, so you basically feel this, like, almost spark in your mind, um, as you're, like, a like kind of like assaulted digitally I guess is the the way to phrase it and get an injury there she holds her head um, in pain in this it says, Ugh, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing but it's it's not the best Samuel I'm gonna try to start taking on these big, scary fucking things. Mm -hmm. Recognizing that they're ice, so I guess let's take the first one I see. It's just there. Yep. Uh, just hacking. And it's hacking. Yeah, hacking. Oh, you rolled sysops too, didn't you? Mm, hacking, okay, he'll roll sysops. We might be in trouble, people. Yeah, it just like bounces off the ice. You're trying to try to hack through um, 
the ice and just aren't unable to break it. Uh, that was two, so he's at one. It's a defensive action. Okay. Who's next? Vronway. Hmm. Vronway is going to throw past it here. Uh, what was it you're doing? Sorry, you cut out a little bit. Uh, gonna throw the energy blast at that one there. Okay, that's gonna be a level three. Alright. That one's harness, isn't it? Yeah, that's harness, yep. You should, uh, you should have, uh, macros for them now. It should be harness, um, targeted. Shape and essence. Oh. It doesn't come up with the targeted thing. Huh? That's okay. 44. Um, so roll 3d10. Plus uh, 4. Explosive plus 4. Mm -hmm. Okay. that's uh, That kills one of them. How does it look? Yeah, Veronway notices uh, Hedwig grab her head. Uh, he contemplates trying to protect her at first, but notices, uh, you know, Samuel say, we may be in trouble. And he turns to the side and throws a bolt of energy, uh, destroying one of the, the Siri units, shattering it, kind of like digitizing it. Mm -hmm. Tron. It attacks back at you. So since you don't have sysops, it's just going to be your uh, mental defense against that, which is 14, which is a 5 plus 8. What is your, um, let's see, what's your terror level? I have a 14 mental defense. Yeah, terror level is 14, I think. Yep. What did I say? Yeah, that's going to give you an injury. Um, so same thing as your head just kind of like rings with the static electricity almost uh, in your ears. Um, yeah, he grabs his head too and uh, goes down to like one knee, crying out. Rah! Let's see what these guys can do. Is it just brain hack? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, they... Uh, Heimdall 1 uh, attacks... Uh, somebody, let's see. Roll. Two, Hedwig. Okay. Alright, it's the sobs to defend. Mm -hmm. Only a 19. Uh uh. 32. Yeah, you're able to evade that one. How does it look as you're able to somehow digitally keep him from hacking you. Uh, so this is the virtual space. Mm -hmm. um, so she can almost uh, like see it, this ice uh, attacking towards her, um, firing some sort of projectile. So she uses kind of the virtual space to almost create uh, a sort of shield in front of her to deflect it. Nice. Okay, so now let's see. Descending. So Heimdall 2, the one that was attacked, uh, attacks someone. Alicia. Oh no. Ah, fuck. Brain hacking. What's your mental defense? Uh, 10. So that is, uh, that's another 6. Um,. So that is a 13. I don't know why that didn't pop up. Uh, but it's a 13 versus, let's see. Terry level 12. Yeah, that's going to give you a wound. Yeah, your head, you, it almost feels like it's going to explode. Mm. Yeah, you just feel this, like, 
static, like almost like a static charge in the back of your neck. Yeah, her eyes get really big as she kind of like leans over a bit, grabbing the back of her head. Um, doesn't feel good. Yeah, I'm not needing to get one. So you're gonna be four headwig, you're up. All right, she's gonna try sysops or sorry, hacking on Heimdall. Mm. I am very glad I took something in this before. Oh, no, it's not combat. Nope, that one doesn't work. Uh... Yeah, just do it from the sheet, sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, buckers. 20. Uh... Okay, it's gonna roll sysops. It's got a good roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're yeah. ice! their eyes um yeah you're just unable to penetrate it if she tries to create um in the virtual space uh see a large um it looks like a hand cannon that she creates out of what looks to be thin air and fires at the thing and it just bounces off yeah you can do things like aim or consider basically mm -hmm. to just don't yeah. uh okay so it is um, oh, that was yours. You're at two, so you're at five now. Uh, it's Siri. Um, no, actually, it is. Yeah, Siri one. Uh, Siri. Why was? Good. Why was I moved up one? Because you defended with a sysops. It's an act of defense. I didn't defend with a sysops. No, it was just defend. automatic. Yeah. Oh, because you didn't have it. Just That's right. So you should be at okay. three. Um, I think you're up then. Hey, please do then. Yeah. yeah. Um, how does this regeneration thing work? Uh, let me look. Let me look. Regeneration. Uh, you have level one. Um... Yeah, you ignore one injury um, for the base duration, which is 10 AP. You don't have any injuries, though. You have a wound, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you get an injury, just remind me, and then we'll ignore it. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I'll try to shoot this again. Sure. Uh, Pretty good. Um, yeah, that hits and kills one of them. Nice. Yeah, it just you just hit this kind of glowing orb and it just like fizzles and explodes, disappears. Get you up to six there. Okay, who is up next? I think it is that one that you just shot, Siri One. He's going to it. it uh, is going to shoot Veronway or try to with its brain hack. Uh, so, what is your mental defense? I have a 14. You have a 14. Okay, so that's 6 plus 8. That's 14. So, let's see. It doesn't really have a target. Uh, yeah, that's enough to give you a wound. Yeah, you, your head is ringing horribly um, as this thing just lays into you. Yeah, he's still on one of his knees, grabbing his head, reeling back, shouting. All right, Sam, you're up. Um, I guess I can consider once before? No, I don't know if I can consider before they attack again. Um, the Heimdalls. Yeah, the, you can. yeah, you're in front of them still. Yeah. You I'll consider once. Yeah, okay. Just to try to bring my mm -hmm. roll up. Because they roll very well. Yeah, they're good defense. Um, Vronway, you're up. Alright. 
He is going to try to blast uh, this one. Okay. My energy uh, You're pretty far away. Let's see. It would be... Yeah, that's going to be a f level... Let me see. Uh, energy. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. G blast. Where is it? Whoops. That's because it's energy attack. Um, so he is... Yeah, that's a level four, so keep that in mind when you attack. Remember, you can do dual targets and things like that. That would be a, if you want to do dual, dual target, be a level five and hit them both. That's up to you. Hmm, that'd probably be too high. Maybe. And I, I have a hardship now. Yeah, you have a hardship and an injury. That is true. You can move and stuff. Get closer. Consider to give yourself bonuses. I'm going to go for it. One hardship. Oh, it's already in there. Don't don't put it in. Oh, yeah, okay. that's all I Wound hardships and injury are already added. Is it rolling? I haven't seen anything. No. Try again. I'm gonna try it yeah. again. Maybe I messed something up. What's your focus? Focus is... It's three, isn't it? Uh... Under fate. Yep. Yeah, focus three. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, 4d10 plus four. Search, search, search. Nope. Um, okay, uh, that does hit it. Uh, 36 versus, what'd you roll? Plus five. Yeah, that kills the last one. Yeah. As he's like holding his head and reeling in pain, he uh, launches an energy blast and shatters it, disintegrating it into digitized parts. All right, uh, Siri two, Veronway. Brain hack, two benefits. Twenty. What's your mental defense? It's fourteen, right? Fourteen, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So that's sick. That's going to be 12 damage. I think that's uh, going to give you an injury. Yeah, you, you're just head just as hurt. You have the worst headache you've ever had in your life for sure. As these things continue to assault your brain uh, in this digital world. And I think it is, well, let's see. Descending? He has fours. Um, it is Sam's turn with his consider. Um, perhaps we should have taken an iPhone. I did. Um, <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> uh, I guess I'm just gonna keep trying to go to the Heimdalls because we gotta deal with these at some yeah. point. So, hacking one benefit. Not good. Oof. That scene is that? Yeah, that's right. Mm. Okay. Uh, see, so they put you up to seven. And then Heimdall two will use Sysops. 
Yeah. But we can only affect these this way. Um, for now. Okay. Hmm, these things might be protecting them. Uh, okay, let's see. I think it's Heimdall 1's turn. And he is going to brain hack someone. Runway. They like oh, Runway. No. 21. Oh. That's another, they saw that's your another, amulet. another injury. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're you're not doing so hot. Your your head is feels like it's gonna explode. Yeah, if he gets a chance, he might try to heal next time. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Mage armor won't work against this, will it? I don't know. You don't know. No. No idea. Um, okay, it is Hedwig's turn. Um, no, it is Heimdall 2's no, turn. No, Heimdall. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Same thing. Let's see who he's going to go after. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Brain act. 26 versus 14. Yep. Yeah. That's a bad one. That's 18. That's going to give you a wound. Yep. Yeah, you are reeling. Why does it say your wound thresher? That's your mirror. Okay. Yeah. How does that how does it feel? Like it's all like you are just getting overwhelmed by these things assaulting your mind. Yeah. Yeah, he falls onto his back and uh uh he probably can't say anything because he's kinda of, you know, the pain is so bad in his head. So he's like holding his head and uh and reeling, uh just shouting. Uh, yeah, and on his back, flailing around. Mm -hmm. Hedwig, now you're up. Um, she shouts back at Verona. Go, go hide somewhere. Stay safe. There is and nowhere to go. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. know. She's just shouting at him. She's in panic. Um, I'm not gonna go until after. She's actually gonna consider twice. Okay. Considering to attack who? Um, considering to attack, she'll do... Or whatever you're going to do. Heimdall 2. Okay. okay. Let's see where we are. Vra yeah. Alicia, yep. Uh, she's going to shoot Siri 2. Mm -hmm. That misses. Ooh. No. Yeah, you just shoot over it, um, just passes through and just goes forever. Um and then Veronway, you're up. He's gonna try to heal himself. Uh you have healing, is that the heal magic. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so which one are you gonna do? Uh how many levels you're gonna put it in and um, three levels, I guess. Three levels. That would be, um... He does have three hardships, though. No, he doesn't have three hardships. He has uh, a mix of... So, convert one hardship into an injury. Just... Is that what you want to do, or...? Um, he can't take away the wounds, can he? You can you can convert a wound into an injury, or you can remove injuries. You have a ton of injuries, so honestly, I would do it. You have three injuries and two wounds, um, so I mean, you can do whatever you want. The injuries are going to be a total of a negative nine, and then the wounds are you know keep two less dice. So it's kind of up to you. Hmm. Um. Would he think that the uh, can he make a roll maybe to check to uh, if if he thinks his mage armor would protect his mind? I don't think you have any idea. There's you've never been in any situation like this to have any idea. Yeah, 
All right, he's going to try to take away some of his injuries, if he can do that. Okay, then. so that would be a, a level... So you can heal three... That's a level three, so it's base plus, okay. two, base plus two, so it's three. And that one is... That's Essence. 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 Benefits. No hardships. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Everything's all factored. Mm -hmm. Uh, go ahead and roll 3d10. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's too uh, messed up. Broadway. Roll low. Yeah. Really low. Broadway. What oh boy. <laughs> no, you're unable to heal yourself. You just you can't fight through the pain and cast the spell. Yeah, he's too mangled. He's trying to cast the spell and his hands shaking, and uh, he can't get the words out. And he's just gripping his head head with his other hand. Urgh! Stop them! Yeah, this one's gonna attack Alicia this time. Uh, twenty. Uh, what is her mental? <laughs> 10. That's 10. It's a 16. That's gonna be a wound, I think. It was last time. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're starting to suffer as bad as uh, Veronway is. Um, not quite as bad, but you're getting uh, getting hurt. Alright. I believe it is one of the sevens it is Samuel yes Samuel um <sighs> Sam wants to try to figure out a way to better deal with this ice because what they've been doing hasn't been working mm -hmm. and people are starting to fall apart behind him so I don't know if, what role I can do for that to uh, um, I would sys ops try sys to apply technical expertise yeah any anything like that I would say is okay there I go again it's my fault uh Yeah, that's a terrible roll. You're you're unable to determine um, what would be the best way uh, past these guys besides trying to hack them. I just give that to you right. for free. Super hack them. Uh, you might as well count it because I'm gonna do the same thing again next turn. <laughs> So I, I don't think I'm gonna beat this defense at all. So uh, what is the defense? One? Well, they they they're rolling sysops, So yeah. Oh, you're just rolling against each other. I no, I, I'm trying to find yeah. a way to make it easy. Can't. I'm not gonna beat their sysops unless they roll like complete dog shit. <laughs> Get them. You got it. No, I'm just gonna consider. A turn and then I'll roll. Yeah, you can consider and I'll give yourself a benefit on that roll. You can do that, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll consider for a turn. Okay. How do I do this? Um, okay, uh, Heimdall 1. Samuel. Now, you, if you if you defend this actively, you lose your consider. That's fine. I have to. I have to defend it. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll sysops. Be a nine. It's a ten. Yeah, it is unable to hack you. Steve was right, man. Apple is yeah, supreme. Of course it is. Turns out. <laughs> of course it is. Turns out. Um, Hedwig, you're up. Uh, Hedwig, before she uh, fires this thing, she's going to call out. Um, it's behind her. Uh, she says, reach into my pouch and grab the green dot. Use it. And she is going to fire 
at uh, Heimdall 2. Heck him. To consider there. Yeah. <laughs> Hack the planet! And by planet, I mean this thing. Oh my god! <laughs> Brutal. Rockin'. Ugh, she tries. It's mm -hmm. just not enough. It's good security. Better security <laughs> than uh, solar winds for sure. Uh, <laughs> Lisa, you're up. Um, I think you forgot to put the second wound on me. Uh, I think it actually is probably. I uh, just didn't do the marker. Yeah, it's on there. Here, I get you though. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. So, Hedwig said to get the green thing, and so I guess Licia will try to reach into her bag and get the green thing. Let's just interact. Cost two AP to grab it. Okay. You get the green thing. It's a vial, I'm guessing, I did it. right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Green dart. Throw it at Green dart is healing, right? <laughs> Green dart is healing. Okay. Um, it is Sam's turn. Uh, I'm going to try to do the same thing that I did last okay. time, which is... You can use you could use investigation too if that's any better. I, don't, I doubt it is. But no. Uh -uh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, after evaluating it, Sam uh, looks at the others and can't this term go start going for his um, needle gun. We gotta take these out. They're some kind of gate for these guys. They'll take physical shape. We can actually hurt them. You gotta pull your gun. I got it. Yeah, pull the gun. Got it. Uh, Veronway. Mm. He's gonna try to blast that Siri thing. Okay. It kind of blow us all. The you fuck are. Up. It's it's <sighs> uh. You're, just so you know, you're you're. If you move closer, it probably would be better because right now at this distance, you're rolling um three levels, I think, um for that, which is kind of high, um especially in your current condition. Um. Yeah, you're level three. So this isn't like a ledge, like I've been. No, thinking no, this oh ledge. no, no. This is like a digital. Yeah, there's. It's nothing. It's like a digital thing. At your feet. Um. Yeah, he realizes like he's pretty messed. How long? How far would it? Would it be uh, to get right here? Uh, that's one, two, three. That's three AP. He could run. Okay, he could yeah. run. But and would I still go before them? Three AP. No, they're right after me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to move? Um. No. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw an energy blast at them. Okay. Three levels. I mean, unless I can get like there and play the system where I can go before them and move a little bit closer. I mean, you can move a little bit closer, but you you need to move at least two AP to get any benefit. They're going right after you. Yeah, they're going right after me. So, and they're gonna kill me if they go and roll a three. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said to get the thing from my pouch. It is it is the most consistent number so far. Alicia has grabbed the green thing, right? There's yeah. more than one. Yeah, you could grab it. Uh, does Lysia look like she's going to give that to me, or is she using it on herself? She's using this one on herself, but there's more than one in her bag. Uh, Lysia, will you give me a... Oh, boy. Uh, it could be um anything, like... It really should be investigation, but it could be... It could be really anything, because you have alternate healing. This will not heal you, but I don't know if you know. Oh, that. yeah, you're right. You, you you would probably know, and I would let you, like, kind of redo this. You would know that it takes blood to heal you. Yeah. Uh, she would probably just stab it into her own way, then. Okay. He's going to try to energy blast that thing. Good. we got to get rid of something. There's three of them shooting at us right now, so... <sighs> He's gonna try. Explode! Get some explosions. That's not bad. Uh, go ahead and roll 3d10. Hello. You did. That's gonna nice. kill one of them. Nice. So he's contemplating, like, you know, reaching for the thing, and then he's like, you know, nobody's, there's not enough dying, you know, <laughs> and they're trying as best as they can to kill them and he if he has to throw the last of, of his life force at one to kill one he, that's what he's gonna do so he just like hurls a blast uh, into one and shatters it kind of falls back like you know tired mm. from it um you want to do a sysop samuel that was against you siri uh, attacks yes yeah. Fuck yeah, there's only one left. Drop those powers. And then the Heimdalls. Oh yeah, it doesn't get through. Hey, we're, we're all dying though, so one left is kind of... Heimdall. If we kill that one, hopefully the Heimdalls <laughs> and Heimdall one become shitty oh, Heimdalls. <laughs> we can just finally shoot them. They're still gonna be rough. Mm. Uh, 17, would you like to do a sysop roll? Yes, of course. I have to. Uh, you will lose your consider. <laughs> or did you do that? Is that... Uh... I did not okay, consider, so this no. Okay, this is gone. That's gone. Okay. Yeah. That was from last okay, time. Cool. She lacks yeah. consideration. Of course. <laughs> She's a woman. Give me a of a woman. <laughs> Fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their, their attacks do more damage versus women. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't work. <laughs> Bitch. Nope. <laughs> That's why they're not attacking them. It's <laughs> like your toxic masculinity up your not. ass. <laughs> oh not, god. They're not dangerous enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dull one. Who's he gonna attack? Oh, Sam. Shit. Eighteen. I will roll it. They're not as good on offense as they are defense, luckily. Like us. Hey. <laughs> yeah, they're unable to hack hack you guys, and it is. Yeah. Yep. Um, she's gonna stab Veronwe with the needle. Okay. That'll cool. be two for so, you. What does it do, Matt? So it um cure it heals one injury, and you ignore one wound for ten AP. Ooh. That's nice. nice. Let me write that down. So you're it. <laughs> What AP are you at, Runway? You're at 12, so at 23. So what I'll do is I'll remove one injury and one wound. 
But I'll leave that red marker at the... I don't think we're going to go for another 10 AP, but... Um, okay. We'll see. Alright. Veronway, you instantly feel better as she kind of jabs you in the shoulder with this medical dart. Oh, many thanks, Licia. Uh, Hedwig. Alright, so Hedwig's going to do an interact action and take out her disruptor. I thought you already had that out. Um... Did we? I just assumed we did. Nah, I'd say I'd but... say you had it. That's fine. Good. Then I'm firing, mm -hmm. cause fuck Siri. <laughs> you are so at hot. I'm sure medium. Yep. Which, oh yeah, I can actually. Click my can I move that yellow to a two? Yep. Yeah, it disappears. Oh, it vaporizes. I was gonna say I get to re-roll that one. Yeah, if you wanted but... to, but yeah, you need to. Nice. One d ten, two. Hey, it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, she just blasts the thing, uh, into pieces. Yeah, as you do that, the two Heimdalls seem to come into like more of a focus. Um, they're kind of translucent before, but now they uh, they looked very digital. And now they look kind of um, not necessarily flesh and blood, but more similar. Uh, and then this one's gonna go. Who's he gonna attack? Which one? Uh, it's Veronway, isn't it? Yes, it is. You're right. Mm-hmm. Veronway, you're up. Oh, nice. I thought you were saying he's gonna attack Veron. Now you're up. <laughs> he's gonna launch an energy blast at, uh, both of them, if you can. Yeah, that'd be a level four. Do it. He's hurting, but he's gonna try it. You better whiz hard, wizard. Let's see some of that power we used on the lich there. Unlimited power. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, no, no! <laughs> yeah. 40, 10. 40, 10 no. Plus four. <laughs> oh, Christ. Veronway. So weak. So weak. Veronway, I swear, if you kill us all, I'm gonna be mad. We oh. <laughs> no, they, they fly, uh, they just are not able to hit their targets, uh, evenly, magically, um, powered. Um, what would I have to roll right there just uh, to get a, a surge? Uh, you have to, if you, to get a surge, you're going to have to, on a, either of those rolls, you're going to have to roll four explosions. Because you have, oh, you okay. have focus three, right? It's hard for you to surge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, this one is going to attack, I think I rolled Samuel last time, so here we go. Yes. Samuel. Brain hacking Samuel, here we go. 34. Ooh. That's rough. Oh fuck! I think I have to roll that one. You for have sure. to. Do you have to reload? <laughs> no, they, no, no. Nice. <gasps> oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, it just is unable to get through your defenses. That pops you up to fourteen. Like in hackers when they're like dodging. Yeah. Nothing, you know, but whoa, yeah. uh, Licia. <laughs> <A> strong brain. <laughs> uh, Licia's just gonna try to shoot this one, I guess. Okay. I'm pretty sure medium range. Well, maybe. What, what's the range on your weapon? 10. Uh, just in medium, okay. That's still gonna hit it. 14 physical damage that actually gives it a wound hey. there we go yeah it's like hit and its head like looks down at its body it looks almost surprised that's mortal too right so it gets an injury as well um yeah and it's like leaking these like digitized um 
bits out of its stomach. And uh, that one actually is okay. going to attack back at her. A displeased. 23 versus... What is yours? 12? 10. 10. Ooh, 13. 19. Okay, that's another wound. Um, oh, okay, so you are over your wound threshold. Um, go ahead and give me a um, death roll. Oh no, Nisia! Oh, no. Boy. Oh boy! Here? You oh need to God. you need to beat a um let's see a nineteen yeah. Where's the death uh, roll? It should be under it, sh it, it. It can be two places. It's under combat and it's under wounds and injuries. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I swear to God. What do I need to roll? You need to roll a twenty. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, your head is hurting badly. Um, you're bleeding out of your ears. Okay. Veronway and Lisa are rolling, holding. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to shoot this one. Heimdall one, yep. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Um, needle pistol. Is this close or medium? Uh, what's the range on it? Is it eight? Or is it... Needle is eight. It is medium. That's a hit. Oh. 13. <laughs> injury, maybe. That's enough for a um, injury. So it just zips through it, but barely hits it. Alright. Um, let me uh, pop you up there to 17. Hedwig. Alright, Hedwig is... Yeah, they're going like, right after so she is going to fire at you'll be at mm. close on that guy i'm pretty sure close well like yeah. close of, mm. i'm at four yeah, be close okay both of them. problem is he has less chance to hit and he's not injured yet mm -hmm. i'm gonna go for this guy okay. gotta take him out uh, she brings up the disruptor pistol firing at heimdall two. <laughs> Close range. 28. 14 plus yeah. 12, 26. No modifier for Whoa. any of that because that's a that's nice. a wounded injury. <laughs> yeah, she like fires into it, hitting it in the shoulder and starts digitally bleeding all over the floor just like its companion. She glances back at Veronwe and Lysia and just says, Stay down! We've got this. Veronway, you're up. Veronway's gonna launch the energy blast. Same thing. At, at one of them this okay. this time. Level three. What Holy the fuck? shit. I thought you... At first, I thought you did it. Um, okay. Yeah. Give me a 3d10. Plus four. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh. you know, you get excited. And yeah, it's like, that's a little too yeah, that's the... Yeah. Oh, it's good. Wait, it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. 3d10 plus four. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's going to fuck somebody up. Okay. <clears throat> what did you roll? You rolled a 47. It rolled a 21. That's a 26 plus 5, 31. Uh, which one did you attack? Um, well, shoot. Uh, he was probably aiming for the wounded okay. one there. Uh, 31. It needs to make a death roll. Hey, for 31. Mm -hmm. 
So he's got to get. He's got to get a thirty-two. Don't you fucking oh. Steve Jobs? Mm -hmm. Very engineered to perfection, my man. <laughs> They're paid a good wage. Ah ah ah! Didn't use a magic word. Ah ah ah! Apple. Oops, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it's very hurt though. Um, and uh, Heimdall two is gonna attack. Sam. Brain hacking. Oh shit. Twenty-five. Right. I'm gonna defend again. Can't it's... afford to get hurt here. It is good though. I mean, at least. Oh fuck yeah. off. Yeah. Unable to get you. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Descending. Um. Heimdall. One. Nope. Lysia. Lysia and then Heimdall one. All right. Um. I guess I'll just try to shoot it. You could aim a bunch. You could like aim a bunch of times and increase your chances. Uh, if you aim twice, you'll still go before them. Uh, Heimdall one would go. It goes immediately after. I know one. After. Her. Oh yeah, sorry. Whoop. But fuck it, I'll aim twice. Okay, pumps you up to eighteen. All right, let's see if it rolls a four. Oh no! Oh my god! Just Why? kill me! Brain no. Just kill me! Gonna be hard. Not it. Yeah. It's not over. It's not Ooh. over your mental defense, so it cannot hurt ah. you. Um, oh my god! Um, what? It's hurt. Um, so that would bump it to nineteen. Yeah, it is. It is leaking digital stuff. Um, Hedwig. Oh, yeah, she's gonna fire at Heimdall two again. Okay. Um, she's on that. Man, thing. Yes. Oh yeah. Fire yeah Eighteen. Chest. That's gonna be thirty. Mm, he's gonna make a death roll. Oh, well. oh fuck yeah. Okay, he needs to get a thirty-one. Mm. <laughs> oh mother. Again, but at least he didn't. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, now he has a nice wound and a yeah, <laughs> yeah. It just scorches him now. Um, okay, they're both there now. They got some issues. Okay, um, we are at Lysia. So whoever you attack, you get uh, two benefits. All right, uh, that, that is a miss. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, just too hurt to really aim and shoot successfully. Um, so you'd be up at twenty-one. And now we are at Sam. Uh, uh it. Alright, we'll shoot Heimdall too. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, TN. <laughs> Guns. Yeah. Uh, let's nice. see. Ten twenty two. You shot nice. two or one? Two. Okay, that's gonna be another wound and another injury. Let's see. What that does. Uh, nothing. Yeah. Puts a hole straight through it. It's barely standing, as far as you can tell. Um, you were at 21 last time, right? Or were you at, uh, you were at 18? 18, okay, 17. Sorry, yeah. Okay. yeah. Sam's like, what the fuck are these made of? Uh, Veronway. 
just gonna try to blast both of them. Level four. One way. Fucker. The absolute mad lad. He is. I like it. Not bad. Oh, okay. Forty ten plus four. Hey, that's pretty decent. Just Ugh. Oh no. Nope. No. No. I defend. Um, I'm gonna say Heimdall two is going to uh, consider five times to attack oh. Alicia. Cool. <laughs> Love it. Oh, shit. He's thinking about it. And then the other one is going to consider five hmm. times to attack Veronway. They begin to, like, charge up. You know, they're, like, glowing. Hedwig, what are you going to do? Uh, she is going to fire at Heimdall, too. Okay. She's not having this. Okay. Uh, oh, I swear to Jesus. No! Oh wait, do I have a one? No, I have no one! Mm, <gasps> yes. So she fires and it misses. Someone could be dead for that. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Um You could uh you could bite somebody to try to hit yourself. I mean it's true. <laughs> um yeah. No blood packets. No blood packets. We gotta get you some of those. Pop a blood capsule. I can't hack them. I don't know how to hack. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Samuel. Samuel. If you uh, I could choose them, not to. Good. I could choose not to diff it. True. Yes. But True. if they do, Lucio yes. will aim twice. Alright. Aiming twice. Which one are you aiming at? Uh, Heimdall one. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much in this situation. Okay. Uh, Sam. Sam. Yeah, mm. I'm just gonna shoot Kay. this one. Not much else for me to make sure it's left ammo. I thought I shot three times, four times. At least three times. Yeah, I think okay. you're fine. That's it's it's it's, it's keeping track. It's like. Yeah, you see it. Oh my god, no! <laughs> They're both gonna die! Yeah, you to see it. Runway. I'm gonna blast them both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love four. You should consider... No, it's, it's fine. He's just gonna kill all of them. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could consider, you could consider twice and get benefits on your roll. Please. And get away with it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh. Well, actually, hold on. If you consider twice, what's your uh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You yeah, would. You it'd, would. It'd yep. Be, mm, you would. It'd be yeah. Lisa and then Veronica. All right. You've considered twice. All right. So, Licia. All right. Let's fail. Two benefits. <laughs> that. But also drop like everything. Me range. <laughs> Miss. Uh, man. <laughs> That's tough. Curse That's nine. Tough. Uh, Apple. Being hurt sucks. Yeah. Oh, three wounds? It's fucking impossible. Yeah, it fucks you. Alright, runway. Level four with two benefits right. on your 
on your last, roll. Um, the last, the last. last. Now you can use fate. You guys can use fate. Don't forget. True. I forgot about that. Plus, plus twenty. This is fate. Or you can, or you can just spend it. Do you want to burn? Yeah, burn to get another benefit. Well, you don't have to burn. You can, you can spend. That's no, right. To get yeah, you can spend. Uh, you can spend uh, all three of, or all four of me have four fate. You can spend four. If I spend one, it would. Well, uh, here, here's me, yeah. Me. If you spend one, you're good. You ha you would have three benefits, and your focus would still be three. Now, if you if you spend fate past your focus, then your focus drops, so you can surge easier. But so, right. but one won't hurt anything. I'll spend. Okay, so one. three benefits. And shoot a double beam, a split beam, to try to shatter them both before they kill us. Last blast. So he thinks of his jewel for a moment. Ah! Oh my god! And he tries to fire. 10. We just have to hope that these hardships and wounds fuck them over. All right, Heimdall one. We two, two. Heimdall two. Heimdall two. <laughs> yep, yeah, Heimdall two. He was aiming at, um, I believe, Lysia. Yeah, he's aiming at yeah. Lysia. Okay, brain hack. Here we go. Five benefits. Holy fuck. Damn. <laughs> Very lucky. Uh, it would be... It would have exploded. It would have exploded. Yeah. So it's going to be actually a 19 minus 9. It's going to be a 10. It's still not enough to get over your mental defense. So. But isn't her mental defense 10? Yeah. yeah. 9. Okay, so it was 9 over, right? Well, hold on. Okay, so it's 10. It's 10 versus 10, and then yeah. he has 6. Mm -hmm. That's going to give her injury. Oh. So that's... But I ignore my first injury. Why? Because her because ability. Of my regeneration. I think it thing. has to be activated. Let me look. I mean, you told me just to remind you. Yes. Yeah, I mean, all the instructions. No, you're good. Um. Yeah, no activation. Yes, yeah, so you do. All right, I'll put this on you, but. Uh, Veronway, however, has passed his thing, so he is no longer going to ignore that wound. It's back. That's that th With a bench. Back, back, back. Um, okay, so that's fine. Um, not a... It's Hedwig. It, uh, so let me make sure that he goes up correctly. <clears throat> and then uh, Hedwig, it is you. Oh. Yes, she's gonna fire at number one because it's still charging. Yep. Um, oh, please. I swear to God. I get to reroll that one at yeah, least. Yeah, reroll the one. That could be useful in this because it was. Oh, God. Three. I rolled yeah, terribly, but I got a 12 four, and it's got an 16. eight. 16. Uh, that is enough to give it another wound and an injury. That's something. Oh, it's a lot. She hits it. Yeah. It's rolling I mean, like these shit guys now. are not... They're really fucked now. Okay. Um, okay. Samuel. I can aim on these guys, right? No, you can't. There's... Well, no, one... no, no, no. I'm all one. Mm -mm. Take them out. I, I guess we're going to shoot them then. <laughs> oh my god, Sam! Yeah, you did ship, quiet. Sam! Heimdall 1 is going to shoot at Veronai. 
Five benefits. Uh, a, it's, well, it's 19, yep, right? It's going to be, well, that's going to be 18. Um, so. Mm -hmm. He's got a 14. Well, it was 18 minus 9, so it's a 9. <clears throat> so let's see, what's your mental defense? Yeah. 14. 14. Not enough to get through. Nice. So, at this point, um, <coughs> they they charge up and fire, and when they do, they just suddenly disappear. Leaving then you, you in this Headway. virtual space, injured but alive. Hedwig like, looks around, and so they go, uh, are you okay? She turns around immediately and extends hands to Lysia and Veronway to help them up. No. <sighs> yeah, you can see Lysia wincing heavily, uh, still holding the back of her head. Um, not able to focus very well. <sighs> Veronway is like struggling to get up. And uh, and he and he pats Licia on the uh, on the elbow, you know. Thank you for healing. She just nods. Yes, yes, of course. Um, it it won't work on me. Why? Perhaps Mr. Jobs was right about. This technology. Of course I was right, he says, as suddenly Steve Jobs is there before you again. I'm always right. Now you know. You did a fair job against my Heimdalls. At least some of you did. You, he points to Sam. Uh, well, it's... Uh... No disrespect, Mr. Jobs, but it's kind of old ice. A bit of a pain in the ass. Well, just imagine what I can create in the future when you bring my brain back to your time. Oh, I can imagine what you'll create, Mr. Right. Jobs. I'm looking at my friends back here. I'd rather not imagine. Once we leave make this simulation, them. they will be fine. Huh. And he's gonna help Veronway up. Well, uh, I guess we just go this way then. Any more fun ice that we should be? Expecting? Oh no! I'll drop you out of the simulation when I'm good and ready. Done talking with you, Samuel, my boy. I would like you to be head of my research and development when we get back to the future. I see. I see good things for you. Oh, I'm not the most talented. I have a recommendation for you, though. Very well. If he is able-bodied, I am more willing to hear your suggestion. Um, they're pretty able-bodied, but you'll have to take it up with her since it's her. And he kind of gestures over to Hedwig. He frowns. Well, what do you look like in a black sweater? She looks at him, places her hands on her hips. You need a body, don't you, for your brain, correct? That's why I had you come back and retrieve me, of course. Good, because you know I'm going to be the one making your body, Mr. Jobs, and I very much feel that you would belong in a feminine figure. I can even probably simulate um, what it's like to have a period, if you'd like. She smiles. I would not like, in fact. Samuel, you'll be my head of research and development. Uh, sure. Very well. I'll Maybe. drop this simulation immediately. Now that we're agreed. How about eight dollars an hour? I'm going to Fan fantastic. Wonderful. I'm sure my stocks will be worth trillions in whatever time.
time period we're going to. This is lovely. Just lovely. You can have the women work for you. Please do talk to HR before any sexual harassment. Then, yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's get that brain. Excellent! It will be big, and uh, he disappears, and uh, you pop out, quote unquote. Uh, let me. Uh... <sighs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> He's dead. Oh my god. You s I guess. You um see yourself uh <laughs> it's not the scale, but um you look around and you're in a small room and there's a fairly well, not high tech to you, but probably to this time, uh, with a brain in a jar connected to various uh, life support mechanisms, etc. Oh, we're feeling better now. Yeah, huh? you you feel like nothing ever happened. Yeah. Alicia still kind of like rubs the back of her head for a moment. That was very uncomfortable. Bronway looks at her and says, You couldn't use the healing device on yourself. She just shakes her head. No, um, there are very specific ways that I can heal and that is not one of them. You must drink blood. Yeah, she you can tell she was trying not to say it, but she like nods towards you as you say it. He uh he thinks about it for a moment and uh just nods to her. Sam starts looking over all the connections and making sure he can safely transport out killing the brain. Oh yeah, you think you can. Mm. Hedwig looks to Samuel and says, what if we just drop it? No. <laughs> she frowns slightly. Do you want all this to be for nothing? I don't want to bring him back, to be honest. Well, I kind of just agreed with him. You're the one who gets to make the body. I don't want anything to do. Well, I don't want to say I don't want anything to do with it, but you can be his R&D head, whatever the hell he was talking I'm about. I'm not going to work for him, Samuel. I'm not going to do his bidding. Uh, he's going to be buried. colleagues. Colleagues, yes. But his, his inventions are so much more basic than my own. He's from a barbaric time. He doesn't know any better. No, he's from a barbaric time. He doesn't know any better. She mimics Samuel. <laughs> She's not, very mad. I'm not saying... He's definitely not right in what he said, but... Uh, I mean, you gotta realize who you're dealing with. It's a head of a company. Tons of hubris. Nobody I, said anything about him being a good a good guy in his head all the time. Well, luckily, hopefully, once we get back this back to base, I'll go through his memory scans and see if I can do some emotional adjustments. <laughs> oh, that's just cruel. Wait, I don't what? care, Samuel. What's what's wrong with him? He's okay. <sighs> yes. He's a... He seemed funny to me. She frowns at Veronway. Forgive my language. He's a bastard. Yes, that is a good word for him. Ah, uh, the sexist thing. Yes. 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 Uh, we seem to have that in uh Then he just kind of crosses his arms and looks away. I see. Yes. Anyway, I think we should be able to move this without killing the brain. No one. So he kind of looks at. Uh... Hedwig when he says that. 
Set our clocks, I guess. As you're going to set your clocks, uh, Siri pops up and... You successfully completed the challenge of Mr. Jobs' brain. Congratulate. And it disappears. Very, like, suddenly. And it looks unnaturally. Uh, and then popping in... Okay. I'll try that to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Bopping in is this unassuming figure with glasses and auburn graying hair. He has two humongous machine guns that he's carrying, and he screams out, Motherfucker, Steve Jobs, I'm coming for you! I'm going to kill you, motherfucker! And he's... <laughs> looks to this gentleman with the arms and she points and says, Can we take him? He's like, You've got the brain of Steve Jobs. It's got to stay. Don't take that with you. He'll corrupt every place he's in. He's a terrible human being. Why don't you come with us? I don't know who you are. I'm Bill motherfucking Gates. Well, you look like security. I'm the greatest inventor of this time. Microsoft is the greatest company ever, and I'm the greatest humanitarian, motherfuckers! How did you get in here? I thought there was no way in. That's the wall. I came back from the future! Oh. Well, um, what future time are you in, Mr. Gates? Well, you see, in the 21st century, we released a vaccine and I put 5G antennas in all of them! <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm back with the power of 5G and 6G and 7G and 8G. Oh, my. <laughs> well, Mr. Gates, um, unfortunately, you checks her watch. I have to be going now. I'm sorry. Not with that brain. You're not going. What time is it? It's time to kill that brain. Uh, no, sorry, Mr. Gates. Um, we're gonna have to close the gates on this one. Bye. Give me that brain! <laughs> I just get I right go. <laughs> 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 uh, Lisa's just shoot him. Yeah, you all disappear, <laughs> and Bill Gates is standing there. Damn it! Jobs, I'm coming for you! <laughs> and, um, end up back at the hub. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Ron Ray was just standing there wide eyed, like shocked looking the whole time. And then when they went to switch, he was quick to uh, uh, switch with them. Um, you pop back in, uh, you're uh, in the portal since no one's hurt. And uh, the librarian is waiting, and she you notice that she has uh, something in her hands, but it's kind of tucked behind her back as she waits eagerly. She says, oh, you're back. You got the brain in the jar. Uh, we do. Oh, wonderful. Take it to Mr. McCoy. Okay. Sure. Uh, care to tell me about Start. it? Uh, our new agent. Will he be a great help? I figured he might be able to take over R&D of the hub. And Hedwig looks flabbergasted and says, He's not taking over anything! Oh. Uh, well, we'll talk to Mr. It Time. Was a bad, it was a bad first impression. You um, made a bad first impression? Bad. No, he wasn't exactly the, the most... Um, uh, how do I put it? He's a Texas. little bit. He's a sexist pig. Yeah. Put it out, hard. Samuel. Oh. Uh, I have to agree. Well, he's definitely no knight in shining armor like my Vronway. And she walks over and pulls um, from behind her back a little uh, bouquet of flowers. I'm ready for our date oh. as soon as she gets settled in. Uh. And I'm gonna take this brain to McCoy, and he's gonna. Start yes, I I believe I will go as well. You, you two enjoy yourselves. 
she looks to Veronwe and says, do you mind if I speak to you before you go on your date? Please. Uh, of course. Oh, the librarian yeah. gives a very, very deep scowl at that. Uh, don't be too long and make sure you keep your hands to him yourself. He does take the flowers, though, and he's like, these are beautiful, thank you. You're most welcome. I had them replicated myself. And then he, he starts to walk away with Hedwig. And, uh, so they kind of walk away. Hedwig stops and huffs, looks up to Veronwe, and she her face softens slightly, and she says, two things before them. You can go on this. No, listen to Lucia and Samuel. You don't have to force yourself to do anything you don't want to do. That's not right. You shouldn't have to. But she possesses the knowledge that I need. I know. She places her hands on her hips to looks to be slightly in thought. I wish she possesses this, but... Maybe she really cares, she'll give it to you anyway, but I just, I hate to see anyone get forced into a situation that they don't want to be in. It seems you don't want to be in this one. No, I would rather not. Um, she says the second question is, um, she l glances over the library and looks up to Veronwe. Um, how do you know if a woman likes you? How... How do I know? Yes. He thinks for a minute, and, uh... Well, they bat their eyes a lot. They... They try to touch you a lot. I've noticed that. How much is a lot? Mm, placing a hand here. And he, like, takes her hand. <laughs> Um, and like touches her elbow or right here. Okay. Um, did her cheeks color slightly? Uh. Have I showed you my hand <laughs> in a while? I, I mean, you have. Yes. And he smiles and uh, he backs up. Who likes you? Uh. No, and I, I don't think. I just wanted to know. Uh, thanks, Runway. Um, if you need to talk about, you know, who, she glances quickly over to the librarian, um, let me know. I just... On a I'm date? Just, I'm just concerned is all. Wait, you, what? You would like to go on a date with me, too? No, no! Don't, I don't know. I'm... No. Tomorrow. That'll be fine. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I'll take you to dinner. Sure, um, sure, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, just stay safe and don't do anything, you know. Don't force yourself to do something you don't want to do. Okay, bye. I'm, I'm leaving. I, I need a drink. And she turns and quickly stalks off. <laughs> he smiles and he watches her go as he, like, smells the flowers. And kind of frowns as he looks down at the flowers. They don't really smell right. As you kind of all <clears throat> leave for various rooms to do your tasks after you get back, um, librarian watches Veronwe, uh, Hedwig, and Alicia and Samuel depart for McCoy uh, or other places in the hub. And uh, another successful mission, and you'll have to figure out how you'll deal with uh, Mr. Jobs. And that is where I'm we ended. Like... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make him a body. Uh, you know, like in Black Mirror, that is just that like bear that could talk. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> She's gonna do that. <laughs> You're gonna. What the fuck is that called in D and D? Uh, awakened bear. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make Steve Jobs an awakened bear. Awakened teddy bear. Yes. Oh man. 
So motherfucker can't move without a system. That's, that's not gonna help with Shadow's <laughs> opinion. <laughs> oh, she doesn't care, because she can just, you know, shut him up and then say, if you, if you talk too much shit, then I'm gonna have it beep once for yes and twice for no, so, and you're gonna be stuck in there, full consciousness, forever, so shut up, Dub. I didn't realize how predictive Hedwig was. <laughs> when it comes to people who question her, like, intelligence, yes. She gets so mad. Sam's definitely staying in his room more <laughs> often now. <laughs> God. Technology missions are rough, because, like, Lysia mm. can't do yeah. anything. <laughs> I was gonna say I've got you covered, but I didn't make a fucking single sysops roll the whole session, except for the defense ones. Uh. <laughs> They're hard though. They like keep a bunch. Yeah, they they they're, they're defense, bunch. right? So since yeah. they're ice, we wouldn't have actually died. No, would we have? Uh -uh. you would have just wow. failed the mission. Ooh. That's good, at least. It was still extremely stressful. Yep, yeah, I was really like, talk. if this is how I go out, I'm gonna be <laughs> like upset <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> go by <a> computer. <laughs> I oh, died no, going to get in Steve computer. Jobs' brain. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be as bad if it was like a thing of... Importance? <laughs> like, yeah, if, if it was a thing of importance or if I felt like I could do yeah. something at yeah. least. But it's yeah. like, here, it's like, okay, I can't hack. I can't defend myself. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh kill you guys in a situation like that yeah thank you appreciate, appreciate you Ted. <laughs> i was fucking dying <laughs> god damn it was, that so was really fucking funny you it did really cracking funny. up you did an amazing job as as steve jobs <laughs> <laughs> my experience in the corporate world is paying off